A major milestone in the Mideast, a breakthrough deal between Israel and Hamas has been reached. 50 women and children prisoners in Gaza will be released in exchange for 150 Palestinian prisoners. This will mark the first major de-escalationary step taken since the war began in early October. Police are warning about a higher threat environment this Thanksgiving due to the war in the Middle East. The warning is for everything from parades to holiday shopping. But right now, authorities say there's no specific threat to any malls or even the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Today is expected to be one of the busiest travel days of the year, and things could get dicey for a lot of us with nasty weather rolling across large parts of the country. However, drivers are getting a bit of a break. Gas prices are down about 35 cents a gallon compared to last year. TSA reminding travelers of packing do's and don'ts. Prohibited items will slow down checkpoints during the Thanksgiving rush. Weapons of any kind need to be checked. Battery-powered mobility devices go with checked luggage. Lithium batteries come on board. Regular batteries are fine in either place. Medicine and baby items should be carried on, and wrap gifts are fine, but you may need to unwrap them if TSA asks to check them. Today marks the 60th anniversary of the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. He was in a convertible limousine headed to a sold-out luncheon in Dallas when shots were fired from a sixth-floor window. The FBI later found Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone in that shooting. Home sales continue to remain at their lowest level in 13 years. Home buyers are being priced out of the market as they compete for fewer available homes. Median price for an existing home was nearly $392,000 in October. That's up 3.4% from a year ago. There's still a possibility that interest rates could go up again in the newly released minutes from their last meeting. Federal Reserve officials indicated they could hike rates if progress to cool down inflation was, quote, insufficient. There's one meeting left this year. A hated junk fee may end up in the garbage. The Biden administration wants to eliminate early termination charges for cable and satellite services. Companies would also be required to give prorated credits. The FCC votes on the proposal next month. Retailers across the country are expecting a bit of a dreary holiday shopping season despite discounts. Companies like Best Buy, Kohl's, and Lowe's all recently cut their sales forecast for the year as demand slips. And that's today's 9 at 9. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.